presented by Church Tech U. It's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, how to add a computer source with Switcher Studio. And it works with Pro Presenter. Hi and welcome Eternity Changer to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn about Pro Presenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford and before we get started, make sure to subscribe and click on the little bell icon so that you can be among the first to learn the new tips and tricks I share. I recently wrote an ebook for Switcher and more specifically their Switcher Studio app. I'll include a link below when I hear that they've put it up on their site. So having used it for a while, I wondered if I could include a computer source like, say, ProPresenter? The answer is yes. So let me show you how. I wanted to show you just how easy it is to include a source from your presentation computer. So here we are on their website. And I actually uh, went to support and did a search, but I'm just going to include a link below in the description to this page, which is to include a Mac as a source. I'm using a Mac. They also have a PC client. And what you do is you download and install the Switcher Cast app onto your Mac by clicking here. It downloads, you install it. Well, I've already got it installed and it's actually running right now. So this is what it looks like and what you'll notice is you get a source for each display you also get a source for each web camera um, and even virtual web cameras so cam twist for example so let me show you how to add those i'm going to go over here to the app so here we are in the app and you know it's kind of a loopy thing but you get what I'm doing here and if you want to add a source you first click down here on this plus button and go to cameras now this is assuming that the switcher studio uh, switcher cast app is running already which mine is and you'll notice I have all these same sources so what I did was I just clicked on one for display one. Let's say I want display two and display three as well. So I'll add those in as well. And then um, I've already added the webcam. That's actually what you're seeing this through. And I'm gonna click done. And you'll notice that I have one, two, three screens up. So if I was using PowerPoint, I could have the presenter view and the output and depending on what I was doing I could switch between those or I could have just chosen the output or since I'm the pro presenter guy let me fire up pro presenter so I'll do that and we'll watch as pro presenter comes up here so now we're in pro presenter and I bring up that background and let me switch to that so the outputs there and I can change to slides just as I normally would this is what it looks like here I think I'm overwhelming it with the number of sources I have and the fact that I'm trying to record the tutorial on Switcher Studio. So it's just a really neat little product and I'll when I'm done I'll have a 720p recording of this. So that's how to add a computer source to Switcher Studio. I was pleasantly surprised at just how easy it is to use Switcher Studio and get really great results with equipment that you might already have. 
If you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Oh, and I've just created a new resource just for you. I took all of the ProPresenter 6 keyboard shortcuts and put them in alphabetical order by what they did. Hundreds of churches have already downloaded it, and you can too. Just go to tdm.fyi slash keyboard alpha yt. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from trinitydigitalmedia.com and churchtechu.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.